air interview at the end of the day. Now, Ralph doesn't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, drama commissioner's a long shot, but yeah, look where Steph is. Yeah, I sent her the pitch. I've got to get out. Hey, hey, Ralph wants me to work up some superhero dating show. <laughs> I've no idea what that would be. Darling, we can afford it. I spoke to Chris last night. He's recommissioning Office Junkie. God, he's here. I better go. He can't strangle a man with one hand. OK, so I want the misters on the windows, flip-up TVs on the seats, and Jill, Jill, listen to me. You choose the colours. I'll deal with the gadgets. There's a good get. Hello. Hello. Right. New car? Uh, kitchen. I thought you just had that done. Well, 18 months ago. It was a lifetime in home decor. When did you last have your house decorated? It's a flat. Never. But Really? Anything in that? Unchanging rooms? Living in squalor? No. Who's that? Oh, Julie. What happened to her? She left two years ago. We had Debbie, Pippa, and now. Morning, Julie. Any messages, Julie? Chris Coombs from Channel Blurt, right? Ah, the office junkie confirmation. And Steph was great. Where did she end up? Assistant drama exec at the Beeb. No. Why come no one alerted me to her talents? I did. I sent you one of her scripts once. You said it was well-spaced. I think I would have said well-paced. No, you said well-spaced. Oh. You said she had a flair for formatting. Hazy memories of last night. Sorry if I was a babbling drunk. What happened last night? I took Chris out for a few drinks and he greenlit off his junkie season five. Really? Because I saw him on a panel once being pushed to answer yes or no, and he said he couldn't give an analogue answer to a digital question. No, no, he said it was a done deal. He said that, um, that Ben was the new controller and that he... Totally deferred to his judgment. Oh, God. I, I, Steph! Steph! Julie. Yeah, Julie! Can you get Chris Coombs on the line? Oh, God! Hi, buddy. Uh, wow, quite the night last night. I can remember very little of it. You recommissioned office junkie. Oh, don't think I would have done that. What gave you that impression? Well, your use of the words, I'm recommissioning office junkie. Yeah. The problem is that whilst in theory I could have recommissioned Office Junkie yesterday, which I didn't, I can't do it today. Chris, don't do this to me. I'm redoing my kitchen. I'm having a wine cellar built, man. Wine cellar! A hidden camera show where a junkie is given a job in an office doesn't fit the blurt rebrand. What rebrand? Last night, Ben asked his son what he likes. Apparently he likes tractors. Ben's son is three. He's a future viewer, plus... Stay-at-home mums watch TV with their kids. What about Ben deferring to your judgement? He is deferring to my judgement, which is that his judgement is correct. Well, my judgement is your new glasses make you look like a wanker! God, that felt good. Can't do that with an iPhone, can you? That should be a slam app. Anything in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we made apps, but we don't, we make telly. Or we used to. Christ, this leaves a hole in the finances. We have to let some people go. But you can't fire people. There must be some other way to save money. Oh, well, like not build my wine cellar. Uh, yes. Oh, I see. And where exactly am I supposed to keep my wine? Hmm? On a shelf or in the fridge. Anything else I should do? Go live in the forest like a fucking gypsy? Look, we just need a nice, quick, easy commission from somebody who likes us, somebody... Oh, my God. Steph. Uh, yeah, we don't make drama. Well, we could do. I mean, you've always wanted to do. What was that thing you pitched to me when I interviewed you? Oh, oh, yeah, the show that you promised to make when you gave me the job. Just waiting for the moment, Sally. Waiting for the moment, and the moment is now. Home zone. Home zone. Fucking home zone. Right, what was that idea? Go. OK, it's a, a precinct show. Good, because people love shopping. Yeah, precinct means a workplace setting, OK? Like? Yep, in this case, a betting shop. OK, right, now, I love the shop bit. Betting stuff, not so much, OK? A bit depressing, just full of men with yellow hair and nail funguses. <laughs> you see, that's a ridiculous preconception, OK? Mm -hmm. So this, this is packed with stories. We've got one person who dreams of winning big so he can send his daughter to university. Then there's another guy he hardly ever bets and he just, he's just there out of loneliness. And then there's a middle-class mum with a secret gambling addiction. Whoa, and then whoa, the whoa, people whoa, whoa, okay, running... Okay, row back, row back. Can I get a rewind? Yes, I can, because I think the key to this is the middle-class mum. Absolutely. I mean, she just shakes up all the stereotypes. Oh, she shakes them up, OK. But instead of the gambling addiction, it is... Ba, 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 ba. She has a cupcake problem. She has a cupcake shop. OK, get stuff on the line. Go, 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 go. Yeah, let's just take a moment, shall yeah. we? 
I don't have a moment, okay? The builders are coming this afternoon. Steph knows us. We gave her a start. Just get her on the mobile. Get her on the speaker. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, Sal. So glad you called. Regular bets is fantastic. Hold on. Just let me go to my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ralph's here. Oh. Hi, Ralph. Hello, Steph. Um, how do you, uh, how do you already know about the show? Sally sent it to me. Are you now involved? Yeah, um, slightly worried about the whole betting setting. Could be a bit depressing, a bit boo-hoo. What do you think? I think it anchors it in a compelling reality. I'd say the same about a woman running a cupcake shop. <laughs> Where's the drama in that? Well, uh, um, has she made enough cupcakes? Pretty low stakes. Well, not for the customers. I mean, if you had a bad cupcake, but... <sighs> OK, why am I watching? Um, she has put arsenic in one of the cupcakes but which one find out next week in why would she do that well i mean she's batshit crazy she's a she's a rogue agent like um thingy in uh, breaking bad it's not and, breaking uh, bad do, do, do. i'll pass right well you'll be sorry at the baftas you've never been to the baftas ralph yes i have 96 i worked the cloakrooms adios why didn't you just go for the betting shop idea she loved that why have you been pitching behind my back what simon swervy from air is here what Sam Swervey, what's he doing here? He says he doesn't know. Shall I send him away? Oh, yes. No, 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 this is a gift. What pitch do you He's notoriously difficult to pitch to. Oh, he's fucking mental. But he's got loads of money and he runs a channel. But we don't have any ideas. Take something from the brainstorm last week. Right, OK, Steph, it's what I need Julie. you to do, I don't know, all care what your name is, just get him to the buzz lounge in two minutes, OK? Two minutes. Now I remember. Sally, we were having a meeting. Ah, oh, yeah, it was supposed to be at your office at the end of the day. I put pond meeting in the diary. I don't put names and times. I like to be surprised. <laughs> what, was the, uh, what was the meeting about? Drama commissioner, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, awkward. Did you not know she was sniffing around? Uh, yes. <laughs> Of course I did. And I actually told her to go get the job, you know, to give us more commissions. Uh, did the same as Steph at the BBC, of course. OK. Two birds, one stone. Nice title. No, it's just a phrase. Oh. Picture a drama now. Can be an audition for her as commissioner. If I agree with her decisions and I know she gets what air is about, content-wise, you might get a show. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, um... It's, uh... It's called Bets. The nuts. People love Vegas. <laughs> Sorry, your pitch, your call. No, no, no. No, it is set in Vegas. Um, it's about a croupier, uh, or, 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 or so it seems. Um, he's actually a, a high-roller mafia boss, uh, and it's about all the strippers and the, the showgirls that he sleeps with, one of whom may be a vampire or a zombie, if that is indeed your thang. Um, it's part drama, part hidden camera doc, and the audience get to choose the ending via Twitter and uh, LinkedIn. And it stars uh, Claire Balding, James Corden, or, or, or indeed both. Tom Hanks, a, ro a robot Tom Hanks. Um, that's, well, that's my vision. It's big. It's <laughs> bold. It's baftatastic. It's three yeses from me. Vegas. Can't afford to shoot there. Epic foul for you both. Vegas was the only thing you'd like to Yeah, I mean, we can change the setting, you know? It could be set in, say, mm, I don't know, a UK betting shop, show the grittier side of life. Sally, 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 Sally! First rule of commissioning, don't flail. You have to stick to your position, even if you've changed your mind. Cupcakes. I'm firm. Oh. Oh, yeah, Ralph's idea. Well, I wouldn't say that. For a doc, right? Don't say drama. It is a documentary, is it? <laughs> Thin as Jude Law's hair. <laughs> Will they run out of vanilla pods? Ooh. The sprinkles are soggy. <laughs> Lame city. You haven't even added any bollocks contrived jet with it. Oh, uh, yeah, put someone just out of prison in charge. <laughs> Genius. If you were a man and it was a Wednesday, I would kiss you on the open arsehole. Series of 22, as soon as possible. Don't let Ralph fuck it up. Never got my tea. Bollocks to it. I'm off clubbing. You ruined my show. You ruined mine. I got a commission. By mistake. I quit. All right, go, go. Yeah. You're going to leave anyway, work for a fucking lunatic. Yeah, but at least he's a lunatic with a drama department. What are we meant to do, stay here and make 
3D hemorrhoids or whatever it is you've got planned. Oh, just go, Sally. Just go, Sally. Fine. Just go, Sally. Stay, stay. Just make the cupcake show, OK? He likes you. You think I'd just fuck it up? Think of my wine. Think of my wine. Head of Pond Drama. We don't have a drama department. Create one. Deal, deal. A real one, not just a business card and a paper. Oh, come website. on. Oh, what? Fine, OK. okay deal, deal. OK, but don't try any of that Chris Coombs, ooh, you must have been hearing things bullshit. Seal the deal. Is there anything in that? No. Fine. 